see, the hair, I was going for like a cute little Marilyn Monroe aesthetic, and now it's Sally from Peanuts. <laughs> but we're dealing with it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where I cover nostalgic, obscure, or otherwise strange content. This morning I thought I'd try something not really different from what I do. Basically, I just, I have a lot of cartoons that I want to talk about on this channel. Like, episodic Saturday morning type cartoons. And so I thought maybe it would be kind of fun for the hell of it to kind of make it into a Saturday morning cartoon thing where maybe like every Saturday morning we talk about a different episode of a cartoon. Yeah, so I have no idea if that's something that will work out or if you guys will be interested in it, but I figured, hey, let's try it. It seems like something that everybody on this channel would really, really enjoy. I don't know why I keep doing this with my hands, but, you know, whatever. To kick things off this morning, um, I found the old Dungeons and Dragons cartoon, and we're gonna look at the first episode of it. I didn't know it existed. It was like an 83 to 85 kind of thing, and I asked both my parents about it, and their response was both exactly the same thing, which was, that was a thing? Huh, okay. No boy was it a thing. So get your cocoa pebbles and your drink of choice and buckle up, because right from the beginning, it just, just, just the intro is a whole experience. You ready for this? Hey, look! A Dungeons and Dragons ride! Wow, neat! Okay, that's kind of cool. Whoa! What's happening? Whoa! Where are we? Hang on, what? <laughs> is that a is that a baby unicorn? Fear not, Ranger. The fuck is this guy? <laughs> That was Venger. I am Dungeon Master, your guide in the realm of Dungeons and Dragons. Okay, one minute in. <laughs> they got all their exposition out of the way, which, I mean, is better than them taking a long time, I guess, but oh my god. I feel like I'm just, like, on sensory overload. Does anybody else feel that way? Like, this isn't a recap. This is the first episode. This is our introduction to the whole show. So they're climbing a mountain so that they can see which way is home, which I don't think directional skills are gonna help you in this case. You were zapped here by an amusement park ride. Sheila, can't you do something about your little brother? He's not bothering anyone. He's bothering me. I'm trying to think of a way to get us out of this freaky place and back home. He's bothering me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Continuing on. Come on, Uni! You couldn't think of a more original name for the unicorn than Uni? It's a unicorn. You could call it anything. He kind of looks like a Hank to me. <laughs> Same. <laughs> it's Tiamat the dragon. Who dares awaken me? Oh god. Terrifying. <laughs> You'll learn not to mess with Bobby the Barbarian. Bobby will be crushed. Not if he isn't there. <laughs> yeah, Bobby can't get flayed alive if I shoot him with an arrow first. It's not that it isn't sound logic, it's just odd. <laughs> Aw, sis, I could have handled her. Aw, come on, sis, I wanted to kill the five-headed dragon all by myself. Side note, I've recently started getting into D&D. I have these dice that you might have seen in an earlier video that my, um, my friend made. By the way, if anybody wants to buy dice, I will link her shop in the description. But even though I'm really into it, I'm, I don't know that much about it yet. I've played one campaign so far, so bear with me. I don't know the names of all the various monsters. Sorry. Nice maneuver, pupil. Dungeon Master. Pupils, you haven't taught us anything. You just showed up, gave us a unicorn, and dipped. All things have a purpose including your presence here. Hmm. Tonight is the celebration in the village of Helix. So for somebody that didn't have any answers for him two seconds ago, he kind of launches into all this backstory about the land that they're in, and the bad guy that wants to kill everybody, and blah blah blah, Dungeons and Dragons lore. Now, on your way, you must fear only the many faces of evil. By the way, this guy's very chipper about just kind of confusing a bunch of children and sending them off to almost certain doom. You shall know his newest face by his white hair. All right, so we will know this guy by his white hair. Got it. Anything else for us? Beware, young adventurers. Okay, you're gone again. Cool. Didn't need to know anything else other than that. I'm worried. Sheila, you're always worried. Okay, but like, in this situation, I feel like it's kind of 
fair to be a little bit nervous. We should go north. We should go north. I'd trade anything for dad's limousine right now. How long do you think he spent trying to figure out a way to work in the fact that his dad has a limousine into the conversation? I'll produce some magic burgers. The last time you tried this, we wound up with live turkeys. Can I help it if my hat thought it was Thanksgiving? Do you deal in live turkeys on Thanksgiving? I've never... I've never had my turkey show up live. <laughs> Take the lid off the serving dish and it's just like a live turkey just sitting there like caca! <laughs> Getting off topic. Magic burgers appear! <laughs> How many kids do you think learned that burgers are just deceased cows? <laughs> from this episode. So they're looking for Merlin's castle and it's nowhere to be seen. Couldn't have missed it. Not a whole castle. Yeah, surely one of the kids or the unicorn would have seen a castle, right? We forgot to look up. Wow, he lives in a castle in the sky? Where'd you expect Merlin to live? Not a castle in the sky, if I'm being honest with you, but okay. Everyone, follow me. Finally, we're gonna meet a real wizard. Hey, I haven't seen you pitching in, so stop being so mean. <laughs> oh. Oh. I love the unicorn. It's just so small and confused and loud. <laughs> My folks have a place just like this in the mountains. Wish I was there. Oh. Remember what the dungeon master said about Venger. We should recognize him by his white hair. Okay, I'll, I'll remember that. You've said it twice now, so no one should forget. So this one girl manages to yeet herself across the moat to get into the castle. She's kind of like one of the most effective members of this group because she just has like consistently good ideas and she stays really calm. Hello? Is anyone here? So they get into the castle. Tell me, Ranger, what brings you here? Ah, white hair. White hair. That's the guy. I am a great magician, but the one thing I cannot do is grow hair. Ah, okay. Well, we're headed for the town of Helix. But th it, th that, that's also a white hair. The wrong kind of white hair. <laughs> ah! I cannot grant you the way back. Oh, great! But I can tell you where you are headed. Don't drop the bunny in the cauldron. It looks hot. <laughs> the defeated conqueror vowed vengeance. Dungeon Master told us this already. Yeah, why did we have to sit through this exposition twice? Yes, but he did not tell you that one year Merlin appeared, cast a spell, and his good magic drove out evil. Oh, I guess he has more information for us. Shouldn't the Dungeon Master be giving us all the pertinent information? The dragons were gone forever. Aw, oh, brother. Never trust an NPC right off the bat. That's one thing I've learned. Hey, great story there, you know, but I didn't come to listen to fairy tales. Now, if you're not gonna help us get home, I'm leaving. Where do you think you're going? Oh, oh no, it's Tiamat. <laughs> Again? This enemy is so far out of their, like, beginner level training, and they've had to fight it twice. This time you'll not escape me! <laughs> Ow, I hurt my throat when I did that. This way, everyone! This girl is super badass. They would all be dead multiple times over without her. This guy complains about everything. This one just shoots arrows at stuff. This one's always almost getting killed. She's the only one that's like, hey guys, how about we like use our brains and come up with a good idea once in a while? Could we do that, please? There's no way out. What about down there? The dungeon, no escape. Ah, I get it, cause it's a, it's a dungeon and a dragon. Ah. Everyone help me. Quick, everyone help me. Oh no, that's okay. This small child can just help me as everybody else gingerly taps on the rising gate as it rises up by my strength alone. Okay, presto, see if you can conjure up a carpet. A carpet? Whatever you say. Yeah, I know we have like this seasoned wizard on our side, but yeah, let's let the kid that doesn't know how to do anything but summon livestock have a crack at it. <laughs> I did it! Oh, but he did it. I'm sorry for doubting him. Hey, Dragon Breath! You looking for somebody? 
She's so cool. <laughs> now that's what I call teamwork. I mean, I guess some of them pitched in and stuff, but she definitely did the most. <laughs> oh, Merlin, here's your rabbit. Thank you, my child. But it's not a rabbit. It's a hare. A white hare. Uh, see, I told you. Nobody listens to me. <laughs> you saved an old magician's life. Wait a minute. So they don't catch on here? He's like, ah, yes, this is a white hare. Remember you were supposed to look out for someone with that? And they're just like, oh, that's okay. We will continue trusting you. I'm 70 years young, my lad. The age where I begin searching for one to teach my secrets to. One like this one. That one? Me? Well, that's nice of him. I can teach you all my magic, but only if you stay here for the rest of your life. Ah, oh, that's kind of a bum deal, isn't it? <laughs> Listen, if Merlin's not gonna help us get home, I say we shove off for that Helix place, huh? You don't get to make the decisions. You have not done anything. Your friend has decided to stay and become my apprentice. He's, he's a little young to be making a lifelong decision like this, and he doesn't even look happy about it. I think the sketchy Merlin guy is just kidnapping this child. That's not okay. Stir the cauldron until I return. Yeah, sure. This is hinging dangerously close to child labor laws. We have any of that going in D&D &D world? No. But anyway, he finds a spell in one of the spell books that could get them all home. Hooray! <laughs> Uh oh, I have a feeling I should reclaim my hooray for the time being, huh? Merlin! Help! Yeah, Merlin, what the hell? You can't just leave a child unattended in a cauldron. The dangers. So, you were trying to create a spell that would get you and your friends back home, correct? Uh-huh. Why are you so grumpy about it? I switched the spells. Only good magic could undo Merlin's spell and release the dragons. You bastard. But you're Merlin, aren't you? Merlin hasn't lived for a thousand years. No, he's not Merlin. How is nobody catching on? I know this is a show for kids, but I'm pretty sure every kid watching this has figured it out by now. Especially since this was aired in 1983, and they've had a lot of time to think about it since then. You know me as Vengeance! Oh no! Ah, oh, fuck. The anniversary of the last time the dragons attacked is now our greatest holiday. Yeah, really glad that those dragons aren't roaming around anymore, huh? That's good. But at least we got to meet Merlin on the way. How could you? Merlin died a thousand years ago. Merlin died? Right, so they're like, oh, Merlin? Yeah, he died like a thousand years ago. And the kids are like, oh, shit. Mayor! Mayor! I saw them! The dragons are returning! They did this character extremely dirty. The dragons! The dragons are coming back! The voice acting, I'm, I'm not a fan. <laughs> I don't think that guy we met was Merlin. But he looked like Merlin, standing there stroking his white rabbit. Hmm. No, that doesn't, that doesn't sound like a euphemism at all. Moving on. Not his rabbit, his hair! His, his white, white hair. hair! There you go, now you got it. You were only... I'm not wearing a watch. You were a lot late on the draw. Come on, Uni, jump! Whoa. Wow, that unicorn caught some air. Good for it. Venture must have reversed Merlin's spell. Yeah, you think? <laughs> He didn't think to take up the ladder. If I was an evil bad guy and I was up to some no good shit in my big sky castle and I knew that somebody could come and stop me at any minute, I would I would make sure that they didn't just have a ladder waiting there for him, right? Not that I condone what he's doing, but you know, you would think he would think like that. Merlin's not Merlin, he's Venger. He stole my hat and all my powers. Worse, he tricked me into undoing Merlin's spell. The town of Helix is being destroyed right now. Like, bitch, we don't care about that. We need to talk about our thing right now. There's dragons attacking the city. Hey, I got him! That won't hold him long. I'm surprised that held him at all. Big, important sorcerer guy and this kid just... And, and just trapped him with books. Whatever works. So this girl manages to put out all these torches in the most impressive way possible. Eric, Diana, I've got an idea. This had better be one terrific idea. Do you have any better ideas, Eric? God damn it. I don't know if I could do this, Hank. I mess up every magic trick I try. You can do it, Presto. 
We've got to stop the dragons before they destroy Helix. So that has to be a nickname, right? I know more important things to talk about right now, but like all the other kids have names like Hank and Eric and Diana. And it's really jarring when they're in a conversation and he's just like, wow, I really hope I could do this, Hank. And he's like, you know, Presto, you're my best friend and I know you can get this done. Is that just me? They all get normal names except for Presto? Okay. Oh god, what if there's somebody out there named Presto who like goes by Presto and just totally dissed them? I'm sorry, person that may or may not exist. Your name is completely fine and valid. Anyway, while Hank and Presto are working on that, the other kids let Tybalt? Is that how you say it? I feel like that's wrong. The other kids let the five-headed dragon out. Stay away from me, dragon! Bad dragon, back! <laughs> Let's get out of here! You have one for now! Wow, he really throws in the towel easy, right? He just he just threw like two fireballs and was like, well, you got me this time. So he skedaddles out a secret passage door. Passage door, passageway. And the dragon just plows down the wall and chases after him. And that's the last we see of him for now. So Presto manages to banish all the dragons. The town is safe. They're not home yet, because you know. There's, there's more of the series. We call that a win for today. You save a town, banish some dragons, stop an evil bad guy that pretended to be a long admired wizard. Merlo's whole castle is floating away. Bye castle. Lose this wizard? Yeah, so the DM just comes rolling back up with his wizard hat for no reason. I don't trust the dungeon master. My light just went out. <laughs> Where was I? Like I was saying, I don't trust the dungeon master. He just kind of is like, cool with all these kids being separated from their home. And and he's like, here kid, here's your hat. Find your own damn way home. Climb aboard, Eric. Are you kidding? I don't ride with anyone else. I want a steed of my own. I say just leave Eric behind. I don't see anything that he's really contributing here. He's not gonna be a team player. He doesn't get to go home. I don't ride anything that gives milk. Very weird specification to have. Specification. Very weird specification to have for your steed. <laughs> anyway, the kids head off to Helix, the town that they just saved, to try to figure out if they can find a way home from there, and the episode is over. So that was the first episode of Dungeons and Dragons. It was called The Night of No Tomorrow. This cartoon was a bit before my time, but I have to say, all in all, for being just like a silly early 80s cartoon, I really enjoyed it. Like, I think this is the first time in the history of this channel that I've watched the entire episode of something on camera. Like, I've, I'd watched it before. I watched it last night and I was ready to film this video and just kind of scrub through it. But I let it play through because I was actually genuinely entertained by it. It's just kind of goofy and I really, I really enjoy how they play with the the D and D atmosphere. So let me know what you guys think about this cartoon. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Let me know in the comments section. Also, let me know if you like Saturday morning cartoons as a thing. I hope you do because I had a lot of fun and I think it would be a good addition to the nostalgic, obscure, and strange things that we cover on this channel. Uh, let me know in the comments if there's a particular cartoon that you want me to talk about. But with that being said, I'm gonna wrap up this video here. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing. Absolutely anything you do to support this channel makes me so happy. I love this channel. I love you guys. So thank you so much. Uh, if you're new here and you're a fan of nonsense, maybe consider sticking around because I post nonsense all the time and ring that bell because you know the drill. My upload schedule is as chaotic as I am. And remember, my name is Avery. I'm a YouTuber if you say so, because thanks to you guys, this is technically a YouTube channel. Bye!